Hello guys and welcome back to another Tech Tuesday episode. Now something that has been requested a whole bunch is on 12 volt wiring and especially 12 volt systems in your four drive. So what I'm gonna do is a full series on 12 volt wiring, um, going right through your battery management system, dual battery systems, um, canopy setups when you start having a third battery, lithium, all sorts of stuff like that. But what I'm gonna do is start with the basics and this episode is everything to do about uh, spotlight wiring. So what I'm going to do is wire up a set of spotties that I've got on the front of my bull bar which haven't been hooked up. I'm going to take you through how you should wire up your spotlights correctly. Alright guys, sorry it's super echo in here. I'm in a massive warehouse at the moment and there's nothing in here so it's just like Anyway, so 12 volt wiring, we're looking at spotlights. So basically, I've got a steady kit here, but you can do this just using the parts individually and wiring up yourself. This just makes it a bit easier. Now open up and show you what's in the box first. And this is pretty much all the essentials you need when you want to wire up spotties. The main thing to remember is that you want these to work on your high beam switch. So staying on the right side of the law, you can imagine if a car's coming the other way, you want to be able to flick that off quickly, but a lot of guys just wire it to an individual switch. And if you're going over a road and you flick your high beam, you've got to find the switch and get it off. Otherwise, you're blinding the person coming the other way. So it's very important to connect it up through your high beam switch. So you can do that manually by tapping into that signal or what this has is a plug that goes directly into your um, original light plug and that takes care of all that anyway. But I'll show you that in a second. So basically, this is the main harness and there's a couple of adapters here. So these are specific to the spotlights you've got. There's either gonna be a certain end or plug size onto the light that you need. A couple of cable ties provided as well. And this is also, this is that plug I was talking about. So open this up. So there's two options here. One is for your standard plug that you'll probably find in your car. That's a three pin. And this is for if you've got a HID kit or some aftermarket lights and they generally use one of these sort of dual Deutsch plug looking things. So there's two options there, but they both essentially do the same thing. Um, in the main harness, what you want to do is run it through a relay. Now, why would you use a relay? If you go direct, it means the full power that you need to run those lights goes through the switch and you've got to run it all the way back to the dash through a thicker cable. What a relay does means is you can run the pure power from your battery to the light in a short circuit using a thicker wire and then all you need to do is run a signal to this relay from your dash, from the switch, to tell it to turn on and off. So it's just a lot easier way to do it, less wiring and less issues running that higher power through a dash plug. So there'll be basically a little electromagnet in there and when you flick the switch on, the negative ground to the battery will be triggered through your switch on the dash, it'll close that circuit. So you essentially pretty much have four wires that go in and out of the relay. You'll have your power, your ground, your output to your spotlights and then the signal from the switch. So on this one, you've got your power on the ground, pretty simple, just with ring terminals on there. And then it comes down to this signal wire, which is what you plug the signal in that goes into your headlight. So that plugs into there, this goes into your headlight and then you've actually got a little piggyback plug on the other side that you can put back into your standard headlight so your headlights work normally. It's just really just tapping in for that high beam signal. On the other end, you've just got a pre-wired switch. Now you can unplug that and run it into any dash rocker switch that you want to use or you can use the one supplied here which is just a, a little waterproof dash looking thing. So on the other side we've got um, the output plugs that goes to the spotlights. Now this is for the larger I think the, the seven inch spotties or a light bar. Now I'm just using those little um, six inch bars so I'll be chucking these adapters on which goes to the Deutsch plug the correct size for that light. So let's just get it in the car, install it and see how it all plugs up. Alright, got the bonnet open. You'll need access to your main battery and these are these little lights that I'm going to wire up. Now I've had them on here for a while, but yeah, I haven't actually wired them up. Oopsies. So they've been sitting there just on show for about, I don't know, six months. <laughs> I'll get around to it eventually, today. So the first thing you want to do is pick the side that you're going to get your signal from for your high beam switch. Now, I've got an air box on the other side, so there's not much space there. I'm going to go on this side, which means you pretty much just want to Start by laying out where everything's going to go. I'm probably going to put the relay back here where I've got another one already sitting there. You screw that into the wall and you can run the cables down and sort out that plug. So this is that plug for the signal. I'm going to find where it connects into my headlights, pull that out, add one of these in. 
and then I can start wiring the rest of the uh, harness in. Okay, I've wired most of the harness in now. So just down here, I've put the actual relay. So it's just with a little tech screw bolted in the side there. And then I've got a wire running in through the firewall into the cab, I'll show you that in a second. And then the rest I've just wound all around through here, down to these back points. Oh, the focus is hectic. All the way down through here, I've plugged this um, headlight piggyback plug in through here. And then now I've come to the front and then the actual new Spotty, I've put that extension on there, and then the other end is plugged into the harness. And then it's pretty much what we're gonna do is head inside now. So the last few things to do is um, wire in the plug. Now I'm not going to use the one supplied, so what I've done is disconnected those three wires, like I mentioned earlier, round the power on the ground up to my rocker switches that I've got in my roof console, because I want it to run off that, which is pretty much just tapping into the signal that already runs those front spotlights, because I want these ones to come on when I run the whole spotlight system. So it's not gonna be on a separate switch, it's gonna be all together. Um, hook that in, and then the last thing to do is pretty much plug in the power and the ground on the battery. Now, I just plug these into my starting battery. A lot of guys that run dual battery systems, you can pretty much just keep it on your main starter because when it's something like lights, you don't actually, you wouldn't really run them when the car's turned off. So if it's an accessory that you use when the car's running, just leave it on your main starting battery because the alternator is obviously going to be running at the same time. Uh, and then you leave your auxiliary battery for things that are going to be running when the car's turned off, like your fridge, camping lights, things like that, etc. But spotties, you generally want to keep on your starting battery. So the last thing, once those are wired up, you just check the whole system, check that it works with the high beam switch as well um, as the rocker switch you've hooked up so that you can flick it off if the car's coming the other way. Um, tie everything back, cable tie all the um, wires and connectors away from anything that's gonna short out, anything that's sharp, anything that's hot, and then that's pretty much finishing up your installation. All right guys, there we have it. There's a super quick install video of how to wire up your spotlights, whether they be a light bar or light spotties, all these little LEDs just like this. It's all pretty much the same sort of way you wanna do it. So these work off of either the switch or the high beam toggle as well. Um, and everything is waterproof, plug, Deutsch plug, fused as well. So um, that's pretty much how you wanna wire any lights in that kind of manner. This was a super quick episode, a super quick video on just these lights, but I'm definitely gonna do another video on how to do your dual battery setup and also a bit more integration when you're talking about what's happening in the canopy or if you've got fridges, you wanna run inverters, AC chargers, DC chargers, solar, all that kind of stuff. So drop a comment down below and what specifically you wanna see in those 12 volt videos so I can try and cover it. This was a quick little introduction video into this kind of stuff. So obviously I've got a bit of a background in um, electronics, I've got an electrical engineering degree, that's sort of what I studied. So hopefully I can try and explain some of this electrical stuff and bring it across to the four wheel drive and 12 volt side of things. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, drop that comment down below of what you wanna see with regards to 12 volt stuff. And I'll see you on the next Tech Tuesday video. Peace. They say the definition of subscribe is to arrange to receive something, typically a publication, regularly by paying in advance. Please arrange to receive something, typically a publication, regularly by paying in advance by clicking the button below.